Hey mamas, my name is Tenley and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to try and get through this video before my son wakes up and today we're going to be talking about milk. I have um, lots of milk in the fridge. This is past three days. Uh, so this was three days ago. Um, so I have night time. I'm going to put them in the order of time and day so you can actually see. So you can say I normally put them in the corner there and then I will show you how I package all of the milk. Okay, so I'm actually going to package these in these bags. Um, I may need some more, but I can give you an idea of how. I always have them in my fridge just like this. So this was the fresh milk that I pumped this morning i'm gonna bottle this and then this is from last night yesterday morning i normally use my big bottles in the morning that's how i can remember um if it's a morning or an evening because my left breast always produces a lot more in the morning than my right breast and this was the night before there was too much to combine in one bottle and then the day before because i had already packaged the milk from the previous days and whatever was left over so this is from the day before that so i'm gonna you can watch me package this how i normally do it what i do is package each bag in as six ounces which is 180 milliliters that's how i typically package them and put them in my freezer but i normally just swirl it around try and get that fat off the edges as you can see it's it's kind of it's a lot better than it was before um you can see the fat there. Kind of just swirl it around. vent bottles because this is what I, I use these bottles to feed Aiden when he does take a bottle um, which is not often anymore because he's not waking up in the middle of the night anymore but if um, there's ever a time where he's at my mom's or his godparents house um, or anybody that's around that really wants to feed him or I'm not around and somebody needs to feed him we use the event bottles and it's like my first time pumping in these event bottles since I started using my Medela and my Spectra pump. Um, so it was it was actually quite convenient this morning and it's a little bit easier to shake. And for those who don't know, for your event bottles, I know they normally come with the nipples, but there's actually these, uh, I don't know what they're called, covers or something, can't remember the exact title. Um, I'll probably link it somewhere up there so you can see, but you just put, instead of your nipple, you put this in there and it actually covers the bottle. I found out um, about these when I was doing my research for my registry. I never figured out how to use it properly, but ended up uh, realizing this is how you use it. So it's quite clever, quite interesting. All right. So now, how do I bag these? I'm actually going to get my big Medela bottles. I love these bottles. Like, these are my favorite bottles. I use them with the the Spectre pump as well. I have a connector that I put on here. I don't have it on me now, but I'll maybe talk about another video connector in order to use my Medela bottles. But we're going to go with some measuring. I always measure in these bottles before I pour them into my freezer bags. And I use oldest to newest. So right now this is, it's about 90, 95. I'm just going to pour it in here. So I know this was from the day before. So I am going to pour this in here. And I'm just going to take from yesterday and I'm measuring up to six. Measuring up to six ounces. Yay, perfect. And what I typically do, because this was from two days ago, and I'm mixing, they always say to use the oldest date as your date that you put on your bag, and time as well. But what I do in terms of timing, as you can see, it has the date, the time, name, and volume. For time, whenever I'm mixing any times, I just put all day there instead of a specific time, because 
morning milk is different than night milk and if i'm putting the morning time with the nutrients that's in like your night time to help your baby sleep is going to be mixed up and all that so to me it doesn't really make sense so i'm putting just all day on it so i know it's a mixture of different types of milk all right so make sure you wash your hands when you're using these and how i normally pour into my bag is I just fold over that flap there and it's just it's just easier for me to pour. And then what I do is I actually just go on the ledge here just to get out as much air as possible and then seal it. And you'll see how I label this in a second, but I like to label at the end because I don't like to contaminate my hands with my permanent marker and then touching the milk. So I'm just gonna lay it out here. So I know that was the day before. <laughs> And then this morning one, um, I've already used this bottle, but this is a morning one, like I told you, in the morning, typically get a lot of milk. I actually got a little bit over six ounces here, so I'm just gonna pour out just a little bit of it to make it exactly six ounces. And I'm gonna obviously pour it into the um, bottle from the same time that I use. So this is my left boob, this is my right boob. <laughs> And just because as a mom, sometimes your brain doesn't always work the way it should. I know this was morning times that I used this bottle, so I'm just going to put this right in here so I remember. And as mentioned before, remember you're always using the um, oldest date for your bags when you're putting them on there. And this never happens. There's usually some type of milk left over from me pouring. Um, so I just leave it in the fridge until I'm ready to do my next couple bags. And I do my bags every day. Um, typically, I just kept it in the fridge a little bit longer this time just so I could show you what I normally do. So there you go, my last bag. And this may be off by like five milliliters, um, not a big deal. But I know this was my last one. So what I do now is I get my permanent marker and I'm just gonna go front. Like the recent one that I poured, doesn't matter which order you do it, this is just how I'm doing it right now. Um, so I don't forget. So this was from 6 o'clock this morning. The volume is 180. Six ounces. Yes, I know I have one child, but I still like to write his name. And today's date is actually the 1st of July. So that's typically how I do it. So I've been able to get to the end of this video without Aiden waking up. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions regarding any of the tips that I provided today, leave a comment down below or shoot me an email and I'll be glad to do a video just for you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, mamas.